The chief of Russian mercenary group Wagner has said that his forces are close to the center of the frontline city of Bakhmut. In a video posted on messaging app Telegram on Saturday, Yevgeny Prigozhin is seen standing on the rooftop of a high-rise building in what he claims is Bakhmut. This is the building of the town administration. This is the center of the town, Prigozhin said in the video, pointing towards a building in the distance. It is one kilometer and 200 meters away, said Prigozhin, who was clad in full military gear. Speaking as artillery boomed in the background, Prigozhin said that the most important thing now was to receive more ammunition from the army and move forward. He said his forces needed 10,000 tons of ammunition each month for the battle. Wagner has been spearheading offensives against cities in eastern Ukraine, including Bakhmut, in what has become the longest and bloodiest fight of Russia's year-long assault. Both sides have suffered heavy losses around Bakhmut. Prigozhin, an ally of President Vladimir Putin, has been entangled in a power struggle with the defense ministry. He has several times claimed battlefield victories ahead of Russia's army, criticized Russia's top brass, and accused the military of not sharing ammunition with his ragtag forces. In the video released on Saturday, he said he was ready to ask Russia's top commanders for forgiveness, but at the same time appeared to mock Russian defense minister Sergei Shoigu and chief of the general staff Valery Gerasimov. He said they were outstanding military commanders and added that Russia's greatest military leaders, including Georgi Zhukov and Alexander Suvorov, could have learned from them. I absolutely, totally support all their initiatives, Prigozhin added. Earlier this week, Wagner said its fighters had captured the eastern part of Bakhmut. Some military experts have questioned the sense of Ukraine's continuing defense of the ravaged town. But Kiev officials say that the fall of Bakhmut could lead to further Russian advances in the east. The commander of Ukraine's ground forces, Oleksandr Sirsky, said on Saturday the fight for Bakhmut helps to buy time to prepare for a future counteroffensive. The real heroes now are the defenders who are holding the eastern front on their shoulders and inflicting the heaviest possible losses, sparing neither themselves nor the enemy, Sirsky was quoted as saying in a statement. It is necessary to buy time to build reserves and launch a counteroffensive, which is not far off. British military intelligence said on Saturday that the Bakhmutka River in the center of Bakhmut now marked the front line. Ukrainian forces hold the west of the town and have demolished key bridges over the river, which runs north to south through a strip of open ground 200 meters to 800 meters wide, the British Defense Ministry said in an update. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.